Aaj hum log viruses ko rokenge. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Me, Mudahar, and today we are talking about good old-fashioned malware. Now, of course, we're bringing Discord back into it. It feels like uh, it feels like I have a real knack for Discord, but the reason I pick it is because this is, frankly, a gamer platform, let's be real here, and also it's one of the most popular platforms out there. To be completely honest with you, Discord is primed to be one of the most used applications if they ever decide to step properly out of the game sphere okay they've got the infrastructure for it they've got the experience for it and frankly a lot of people use discord because of its popularity as an attack vector to infect your good old computer so today is going to be a good old-fashioned virus investigation but about what well ladies and gentlemen have you ever been asked on discord to test a certain game hey can you test my game i'll give you money well don't do it because you are going to get your data stolen let's get down to one of it nine months ago a post was on discord app all right i'm making this post as i just lost access to my own discord account and i'm waiting for discord to get back to me but hoping i can bring attention to this new it's, it's kind of new. Attack. I should have known better regardless. Don't worry, we all fall for it. I received a few Discord game test invite emails over the past month or two, and I didn't think anything about it until I saw another one this morning. I decided to accept it. Now this in of itself doesn't do anything except add into your Discord game library. I then installed it via Discord's game library and tried to run it, but nothing happened. So basically what they were doing was they were stealing the user token for the actual person. So basically, they they were able to do anything to your account that did not require two-factor authentication, which you should always have enabled on anything ever. Basically, they could change your profile picture, your name, your emails, phones, and then basically start unfriending everyone, okay? I don't know if two-factor authentication enabled could actually prevent some of this, but that's basically what they were going for. In fact, if you want to look at the email, this is the email in question. So, no reply at discord.com. Again, the first thing you should have checked is that but guess what it's coming right from discord dude come on so they're basically abusing a feature that discord provides so you've been invited all right so they invited you to discord's game testers all right basically if you have no clue what the email is ignore it basically discourse provided an integration and while it's beautiful for people who actually want to use it for a legitimate reason there are obviously losers that abuse this for bad reasons of course then you go to a site known as itch.io basically anytime i get a puppet combo game it comes from itch.io itch.io basically cover it basically is a platform for independent games so you make a game you post a game you have a good time there are some good quality shit on here but just like good quality shit there's always the crumbs of fecal matter that follow suit ladies and gentlemen Malware is being distributed via discords with hackers attempting to use itch.io and other sites to trick you into downloading a program that steals your discord account token, payment information, and more. If you receive DM from someone you don't fully trust asking you to download or test their game, do not download. And this is coming from an administrator on their website too. God damn. What's wild is they said, we have received reports that discord support is not handling refunds for these fraudulent payments. This is most likely illegal. Legal. It probably is in certain parts of the world. And Discord, this is where I slap you on the cheeks a little bit. If your platform is being abused, you better offer up some goddamn refunds, okay? People, yes, it's their responsibility to know what they're clicking on. But you have developed integrations and issues into your platform that still haven't been fixed for years. So basically, they'll tell you that itch.io is just a public file hosting service. So anytime you download anything, you got to treat it with some suspicion because they're unable to vet the creators in any way. Again, itch.io, if they find out that they have malware uploads, will most definitely take it down. But I don't believe they always have an up-to-date malware check on everything that they post. And just to understand, guys, a virus check isn't exactly a bill of health on any file, okay? When I throw things into virus totals, you got to understand antivirus engines basically are checking mostly for heuristics anyways. Basically, a lot of actual legitimate programs, just because they look too deep in, sometimes like anti-cheats, sometimes like really, really in-depth programs, will have characteristics of viruses. But typically, big companies will actually whitelist those programs. They won't whitelist the really sketchy stuff that they haven't heard about, but that's generally the idea you're getting with. A virus check isn't exactly a clean bill of health or something that you can immediately say, I'm going to fire 
fire up a computer. You still have to have your safeguards up. So of course, down this thread, you've got a bunch more people talking about like multiple different like games, right? So for instance, Helper Cat, which has been removed. Basically, anytime a game gets posted and reported, gets removed. MercyDevs.hio, removed, all right? So some of the stuff that you users have sent me comes from uh, individuals who said, I was approached by an individual via Discord who asked me to beta test their new game. I began investigating like one smart mood. I'm not smart. Don't. Oh, come on now. And the individual promptly demanded my attention because I was taking too long. I quickly captured receipts here as a link to my virus scan. Okay, so when you open up their virus check, clean bill of health. Everything is fine. All right, and this comes from a game called Gany Way Beta, a game that was available on this Discord apps, you know, uh, distribution network. In fact, if you took this URL and basically right click, opened it in a new tab, you could have downloaded this until Discord had actually removed it. So good job on you, Discord. Congratulations. I actually think the file got completely taken down. But anyways, they had this discussion. Sounds interesting. Are you looking for content creation? I'm a streamer. Or is this an NDA? If you want, you can test it and earn $70. If you're a broadcaster, if you play according to your viewing statistics, we may pay you accordingly. Sounds fun. Where do I sign up? We do not have a website for now. <laughs> Sketch! The coding of the game is just finished. Okay, so tell me about this project and what you need to accomplish. I'll send you the game, test it, and now we'll give you your $50. When you will broadcast, we will talk again, and we will set a price for you to promote in the broadcast before broadcasting. I'm sending you what you need about the game. So basically, they give you a game, enter the game, navigate the map, you'll see three key points, you download Ganyway, you drag the file to your desktop, and you start the game. It's a 7 0.55 megabyte game download. Of course, another user came and told me, hey Muda, these scammers have been going on Discord telling people to try out their games, which is actually a token stealing malware. The game is known as Tribus Prison. And then they tell you to go to a website. Tribus Developers, let's hit that up. Wait, it's not going anywhere? Let's fire up a terminal. Oh shit, service fail. I see the website has been removed. <laughs> I am so shocked right now. So they gave me the link for the malware, which I downloaded from them. And uh, in fact, if anything, they even sent a picture of their DM. So here they got it from, hello, sorry about DMing disturbing you. I just wanted to ask you something if you don't mind. Sure. <laughs> Pikachu face. I recently made a game. Would you like to have a look at our site? I need your support and I have no friends for help me. Sure. Wow. Thanks, man. Would you like to receive information about the game? Okay. <laughs> Oh man, that dude's about to ask for credit card details. You you can you can tell. But ladies and gentlemen, I actually downloaded it right here. So here is both downloads. Okay, so I ended up looking at Tribus Development. This was the original file, tribusdevelopment.rar. So I ended up Googling it and I found another game here. Tribus Game 2. Tribus is a 2D and 3D game. Our character is a 3D entity inside a 2D world, and no one likes her where he lives. Wait, no one likes her where he lives. Ah! Let's support her in this character's adventure. It's for Windows. <laughs> hashtag, 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 hashtag Tribus. Updated a day ago, released just two days ago. If this doesn't seem sketchy to y'all, I don't know what is. But anyways, what's fun is when I downloaded this and I ran it through Virus Total, the actual download from itch.io gave me one check, one bad flag from a security vendor. We W64 Pirate Stealer Trojan. Again, that's sketchy enough. I wouldn't run this application if I were you. I'm just saying. But then I downloaded the application from our good friend who sent me a sample and that came back with no flag checks or anything. Again, never is a clean bill of health with these things, okay? They're just too new. They're just too ready. So anyways, I got it extracted. Tribus Prison. Might as well hit OK. And look at that! It immediately killed Discord and relaunched it. Wow! It's like they stole my information. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, thank God it was a burner account, man. Crap. Hell yes, dude. Create a brand new account, baby. Here we go. We got a brand new Discord account. Awesome. Awesome possum. Now let's fire up that new game that we just downloaded. So here's tribusdevelopment.rar, fresh from itch.io, okay? Again, that really sketchy game. Now one thing if you do, if you open up these files, you'll actually find out they're actually pretty close to size. Like if you look around over here, man, we got like... This this is just slightly smaller. Somehow I feel like this Discord account's about to get compromised too for some reason. Oh, would you look at that? 
It's the same guy. It's the same goddamn file. <laughs> okay. Well, let's fire it up again. Whoa! It's another Discord stealer. Oh my God, baby! The Tribus team is back as of just two days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, what have we learned today? We just exposed this game, all right? This game, by the way, that looks larger than 15 megabytes in size. It's not a real game. This is another network of trash tier, low level Discord hackers, script kitty scumbags, willing to launch games on like itch.io. So again, you download a game from itch.io. This is literally a bad game. This is a bad, report this, okay? In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. This is a piece of malware, 100%. All right, this is all it is, but it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the that's the Discord problem that we see today. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what have we seen? Two Discord accounts stolen right in front of your eyes. A trash tier author by the name of Tribus Games that is straight up releasing Discord account stealing malware. And if you think this is bad enough, ladies and gentlemen, this has been going on for a long time. So this is just one developer out of like many developers who have sat down and released literal malware on the platform. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, watch out for this new level of Discord game testing. If somebody asks you to test their game on Discord, you run far, far away, ladies and gentlemen. You Alt F4, you delete that virtual machine, and you start from brand new. That being said, though, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to go back and hopefully finish Act 3 of Returnal.